Hello everybody, I'm Stephen from Antprint. Now let me introduce the operation of A4 UV printer and how to how to add ink. First of all, after you receive the printer, must first check whether the machine is damaged and whether the button is intact. If not, we can turn on the printer and rest the platform. Plug in the power line and turn on the total power switch. Now you can check whether the button is OK or not. Now raise the platform. Check out the feelings. Press online button. The printer will do a self-checking action. Meanwhile, the lamp of online button will flash. This process will continue for about two minutes. If the lamp of online button is always on, it means that the machine is normal. Then push the platform to the back. Press ink button until it stops automatically. Then press paper button. The printer will do a simulated printing action. Find a coin to open the lid of the water tank. Then find a syringe and soft hose. Cover the soft hose at the syringe. Then find, then find some pure water. Then use coin to open the lid of the water tank. Use series to fill the water with pure water into the water tank. It's okay to add to 80%. The water around the hole must be erased and the water is not allowed to flow into the printer. Then turn on the UV switch to see if there is any leakage. If not, turn off the UV switch. Continue to fill the pure water at to 80%. Be careful not to spill the water elsewhere.
Then tighten the lid of the water tank. Turn off the UV switch. Turn off the online button and total power switch. Next, demonstrate the addition of ink. First, the ink bottle bracket is fixed to the right side of the printer. Then take out the ink. We have six bottles of ink for you. The ink has CMYK and two bottles of white ink. We use only one bottle of white ink of the beam time. Then use tools to drill two small holes on the bottle cap, one for insert ink pipe and one for ventilation. The white the white bottle cap needs to drill three small holes. And the scraps must be cleaned up. The size of the hole can be inserted into the ink pipe and that is ok. Then tear the seal off. Cover the lid and put the bottle on the bracket. Then the ink pipe is inserted into the corresponding ink bottle according to the color label. Meanwhile, two white ink pipes are inserted into the same one white ink bottle. Attention must not be inserted long, otherwise the printed out color will not be normal. The cap of white ink bottle needs to drill three holes. Then take out another series and soft hose. Then cover the soft hose at the series.
then use the syringe to suck the waste ink from the waste ink pipe. The process of sucking waste ink is to let the ink pass through the print head. Notice that the syringe cannot be pushed back after the pipe is put up, otherwise this cause the ink is to return to the print head, which leads to the situation of blocking the print head. Until you feel the pressure is not in the syringe, then undo the syringe and repeat several times until the ink is sucked to the syringe. The extracted waste ink is loaded into the waste ink bottle. For the first time to suck the waste ink can be sucked a little more, so ensure that every color can pass off the print head. After feeling no pressure, you can pull out the syringe and drain the waste ink. Suck waste ink again. The color of socket ink is like this color, so you don't have to suck anymore. Then the waste ink bottle is placed on the tray support and then inserted the waste ink tube into the waste ink bottle. If the waste ink bottle is full, you need to drain the waste ink. The adding ink process is completed. Next, plug in the power line and turn on the total power switch. 
push the platform to the back until it stops automatically. Then turn on the online button. Similarly, the boot process will last for about 2 minutes. When the lamp up online button is always on, it means that the boot process has been complete. And then we need to do a cleaning print head action automatically. Press and hold the ink button for 7 seconds to let the printer do an automatic cleaning action. When the action is not complete, the lamp of power will brush and the printer will make a sound. This process will last about 2 minutes until the lamp of power is always on. It means that the cleaning action has been complete.